Well, what do you think of the new convertible, Ted? Why don't I have one of these? Well, howdy, Dr. Kelso. Ain't she a beaut? I rented her so as I could repair the air conditioning unit. Looks expensive. Who authorized this? Well, you did, sir. Must have been Tuesday last. Stop talking like a farmer. I did no such thing. Now, I'm not sure how one would go about making a janitor's life even more miserable, but what say we start by docking your pay for the cost of this monstrosity? Oh, God. It won't smooth down. Look, Mr. Cannon, let's drop the forgetful act now. If you don't sign these papers, this hospital will discharge you, and then we'll see what you do and do not remember. The man has Alzheimer's, Bozo. It still won't smooth down. He's not a day over 55 and he has Alzheimer's. It really makes you think, doesn't it? You're over 55, aren't you, sir? What's your point? Nothing. Where the hell is my car? I parked it right there. I know I parked it. That's sick. Am I losing my mind? What the hell? Tommy, take me up. He's coming back. Well, it took a whole tube of gel, but I finally got my hair down. No one male or female ever cared. Where the hell am I reading the last? I'll tell you, the last few days I'm beginning to feel the old noodle is really letting me down. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm just making mountains out of mold hills, don't you think, Ted? Ted? Oh, I was wondering what that crane was for. Thanks again for inviting me to your house for dinner. I did? Yes, sir, you did. Oh. I'm sorry I came down so hard on you. I've been a bit forgetful lately, and I suppose it's possible that I could have told you you could let that crane go. Sir. Apology accepted. Oh, hey! Tommy, what are you doing? Uh, Tommy's been let go. Have a weekend. You too, sir.